Hi all folks, this is Max from Galaxy S3 Root.com. Um, so I've got um, another ROM review here. Um, this one is the uh, this is the Paranoid Android uh, ICS ROM for your Galaxy S3. Um, many of you have probably seen this ROM, so you can probably skip this video if you've seen it. But if you haven't seen it before, you have to see it. Um, this is one of the most awesome ROMs for your Android devices. Um, from the get-go, it looks pretty normal here. Um, looks like a standard. It's actually built off uh, Cyanogen Mod 9 ROM. About phone, uh, there we go, 4.0.4. Um, and uh, this is Paranoid Android ROM. For paranoid people uh, who must have the best of the latest. Um, this is actually a tablet hybrid mode ROM. So let me actually show you how you can turn it into a tablet. If you go to system settings, um, you'll find these uh, paranoid Android settings here. Um, here you can turn it into a tablet mode or hybrid mode and uh, let's turn it into a uh, tablet mode now. And it'll ask you to reboot. Um, so I will be back um, after a reboot. All right. So I'll be back. So reboot. And let me show you the uh, boot up animation. And one note about installing this ROM, make sure you install Google Apps. You will not get Play Store. And uh, if you forget, there's always two files for this ROM. So now I'm in tablet mode. How cool is that, right? So let me see. Let me go check out my Gmail. Oops, let me sign in. So let's go look at my Gmail and uh, how many thousands of email I have to get back to soon. Oh, it's still syncing. Uh, let me show you Netflix. So now in tablet mode, you'll get uh, tablet mode of Netflix. Up in there. Um, there you go. So that's the tablet mode. You can now enjoy tablet mode um, apps for everything. And uh, let me see if I can get this thing to sync real quick here. Um, if you have trouble syncing, usually you can easily force it by going to system settings. Um, I know a lot of people have trouble with this. Accounts and settings and go to your Gmail and uh, unclick all these other stuff because it's all trying to sync everything at once so um, um, let me just do calendar and uh, contacts um, this way will, or, or you can just do the Gmail first and then you know that way it will sync first it's actually syncing it just takes a while um, the first time you do it but it should should pop up here any second. Now let's say I want to, I don't like this, um, I don't like this tablet mode, it makes everything looks too small. Then you can use the uh, hybrid mode here. Um, so I'll, I'll check on the hybrid mode here and uh, let's uncheck the tablet mode and if you reboot with this it will give you um, sort of a hybrid mode taking the best parts of the tablet mode on your Galaxy S3 and also taking the best uh, phone mode. Now that's not all. The, the coolest thing about Paranoid Android is that you can actually um, set DPI uh, dots per inch per app, uh, which means you can actually set it to tablet mode or phone mode for each of your um, thing. And see how quickly it boots up? It's it's a very nice ROM. It's based off the uh, CM9. And now you can see my Gmail, it's in actually in tablet mode. And also my Netflix is uh, probably still in tablet mode. So it's kind of make it more usable rather than using all of it, uh, oh, that's actually in phone mode, rather than using everything in uh, tablet mode. So here's another way you can actually do the DPI, whatever, dots per inch. So go to Paranoid Android Settings. Now if you go to list of apps here, you can actually set, uh, let's say I want my Gmail, let, let's say I want my Netflix back to tablet mode. Um, you can set the uh, the mode here, default UI, um, set it to tablet UI. DPI, you can also set even uh, the numbers for DPI, but if you're new to this, don't mess with this, just mess with the tablet and the phone mode. Um, and later you can mess with the DPI mode. You can actually make it like super small and super big for the apps. So now I'm done, make sure you hit apply. And uh, this will force my Netflix now into tablet mode. Um, so that's done, and let's go start up uh, Netflix again. Oops. And uh, now we should be in tablet mode, back to tablet mode, and uh, boom, voila. 
And also you can do that with Gmail. Now it's in uh, tablet mode. If you don't like this, um, go back to Android Paranoid settings and uh, go to list of apps. And you can click on all and uh, go to Gmail and force it to phone mode and hit apply. Oh, whoops. Um, phone mode, yeah. Phone UI, yeah. Phone UI. And, uh, yeah. I think, oh, you know what? Actually. Oh, you know what? The, the bottom part is actually for everything, I think. Um, you have to actually use this one up here. For some reason, it won't let me click here. Ah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Stock. I'll uh, try stock DPI phone mode. Yeah, there you go. You'll you'll get it. Just mess with it and you'll get it and hit okay. And now my Gmail is back to uh phone mode. And you can switch back and forth. Um there are a lot of apps that can run in tablet or phone mode. And uh, sometimes, like Netflix, I like running it in the tablet mode, not the phone mode. The phone mode kind of sucks, especially the number of resolutions uh, resolution this phone provides at 1280 by 800 or 720. It doesn't make sense to run the phone mode when I can do this. And you know, this has a super fast processor, so it can also, um, you know, process it. And other than that, it's a very good ROM. It's built off CM9. You can also get a bunch of themes on the market on the Play Store. Um, you can download it. And any CM9 AOKP theme, you download it, it'll show up here and you can apply um, in the launcher lock screen. There's a couple more options. Um, let me see if there's yeah performance. Uh, let me see what the performance says. Processor here. Um, no, this one's not overclockable. But you can always install an overclock overclockable kernel over it later on when it becomes um, more stable and stuff. Anyway, this is a great ROM. Check it out. Paranoid Android ROM now available for your Galaxy S3 i9300. This isn't for Verizon T-Mobile uh, and uh, AT&T. I'll have actually ROMs for that also over at Galaxy S3. I've got them all pre-ordered uh, or all ordered. They just gotta get here next week. I think I'll probably get all of them by next week. Um, and uh, if you have a Galaxy S3, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxyS3root.com. We update you with uh, ROM of the Week uh, once a week. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me if you um, have trouble with something, with ROMs, rooting, and whatever. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. It helps me greatly. Um, subscribe button up here if you have. Thanks a lot, as always. And uh, use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And no, you can't do this on an iPhone. iPhone sucks. And stay high on Android, folks. And see y'all later.